Okay, gonna check this next unit here. Pull the disconnect. Here. Along with the following tests, we're also looking at the condition of our wires um, and also the making sure all the leads are nice and tight. Uh, any place that's loose is a place that heat can build up, and heat buildup is what causes capacitors to fail, so we want nice solid connections. Occasionally you might have to tighten the uh, connection down a little bit, the slip-on connector, before putting it back on. Discharge. Want to Discharge. avoid loose connections. Fast to hold the charge in it, even after the power is disconnected. Okay, so 40 plus 5. So we're bridging the capacitor leads from common to herm and common to fan. We're using the metal portion of the screwdriver okay. and we're only holding the insulated portion of the screwdriver to cancel the charge that held, is held in like a battery. Here's the herm. Testing from common to herm. 39.34, it's good. It takes a few seconds the for this meter to calculate. Testing from common to fan. With the meter set to capacitance or MFD, microfarad test. 4.95, it's good. Okay, and the hard start. Testing from the disconnected start lead to the common that's connected still. Right around 50. For this hard start, 45 to 55 plus or minus yeah, is good. good. Right. So I've left all the common wires yeah, connected yeah. as it will not affect our test. We're just checking the capacitor itself. So checking from common to start will give us the reading. These capacitors are plus or minus 5%. So the 40 would be yeah, 38 to 42. Good, yeah. And then the 5 microfarad capacitor for the fan would be 4.75 to 5.25 would be good. I'm pull the little desk cover off. Verify it's good. part I'm pushing in is called the contactor. It receives a, a low voltage signal from the thermostat which engages the electromagnet and sucks the contacts in to bridges the leads from the bottom where power comes okay, in to the top to del deliver power to the fan and the compressor through the capacitors. Make for a better summer. Putting the little contactor dust cover back on, I'm just being super careful as there is power at the bottom of the contactor and also aware that the unit could turn on at any moment if someone was to turn the thermostat on. Um, but that dust cover helps prevent dust getting into the contactor points and prematurely wearing it out, so it's a good thing to have that dust cover there. What we did was simulate the unit turning on by manually pushing the contactor in to bridge the leads. And just verify that everything turned on properly, fan spin in the correct way, line gets a little cold to the touch when it's hot, and uh, we're good to go. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross and he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God, something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin is separated, but without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus. You know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So 
call out to him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. Now call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food. Um, and it's going to be a difficult situation, but uh, you, can, you can still have eternal life through Jesus because, again, he took all of our sin on himself at the cross. So put your trust in him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because he is the lamb, the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right. Stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.